Dozens of refugee families from Afghanistan now call Utah home, but the resettlement process for them to build their lives here is only just beginning. Fox 13's John Franke shows us how one community group is working to meet some of their most urgent needs. Welcome event. This is just one group of many working together to make sure the resettlement process is as smooth as possible. There are a lot of arrivals, right? 20 families yesterday, uh, 25 day before. The Utah Refugee Center is a busy place these days. We've had around uh, 80 families already pass through. Sunday, it was the site of a welcome event for refugee families from Afghanistan. There's a lot of trauma, and so we want to make sure they're fed, they're well clothed, warm, and then they have enough space to recover, rest, and then get on with the settlement agencies for their intake so that they are put through a process of full integration. Luna Benuri is the executive director of the Utah Muslim Civic League. We want to make sure that they are connected to the services holistically. She was joined by about 30 volunteers handing out food, clothing and supplies and also connecting refugees to services that will be vital as they go through a massive life change. It is very scary. You know, kind of think about this. You're coming to a different country. You can't speak the language. You don't know the system. These items and services are all donated. They were actually helping uh, the U.S. Uh, in the with a lot of things and now they depend counting on us to help them and more will be needed this is a marathon this is not a sprint more days like this are on the horizon this is just a beginning for all these people who are coming in to welcome utah's newest neighbors there's so many places where uh, help will be needed so we i would request all the volunteers and you know folks in utah to pace themselves and come in in different phases to provide help. To protect the privacy of the refugees who attended today's welcome, we are not showing their faces. You can help by donating things like food, housing, even legal services. You can do that through the Utah Muslim Civic League website. Their link is on ours at fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.